This program was made possible by our generous sponsors. Hi, my name is Chris. I run the planetarium at MySci in Schenectady. Welcome to another episode of MySci on the Move. Today we'll find the crab, the constellation Cancer, which is visible in our sky in the winter and spring. Let's start by finding the Big Dipper, a group of stars we've talked about in an earlier video. Check our Facebook or Instagram pages, or our YouTube channel, for those episodes of My Psy on the Move. In the spring and early summer, you can find the Big Dipper high overhead, almost straight up as soon as it gets dark. You can spot it thanks to its seven bright stars and its famous shape. Once you've found the Big Dipper, we'll use it to find Leo the Lion. Leo lives underneath the four bright stars at the front of the Dipper that form its bowl. Imagine the Big Dipper is a giant cartoon hammer, and if you swing it down through the sky, it hits the kitty on the head. Leo's head is this backwards question mark underneath the bowl of the Big Dipper. Cancer the Crab is just in front of it. But if you live in the city, there may not be anything obvious there. The body is an upside down Y made with a few faint stars. The brightest part isn't a star at all, but a fuzzy patch you can barely see in a dark sky. If you live near other people, the glow from electric lights can easily hide it. This patch is an open cluster or group of about a thousand stars that formed at the same time from the same giant cloud of gas and are loosely held together by gravity. Even though there's a thousand or so stars in the cluster, it can be tricky to spot. Why did people imagine such a dim, unobvious constellation in our sky? And what's with that name? When ancient peoples were stargazing, they had a better view of the sky, so the stars of Cancer were more obvious. Today we have to deal with light pollution, where the glow of electric lights makes it hard to see dim stars. So when Cancer was first imagined, thousands of years ago, he would have been easier to see. Cancer is also a special part of the sky that marks the path of the sun throughout the year, called the ecliptic. Ancient astronomers wanted the sun's movement in front of the constellations on the ecliptic to line up with their calendar, which meant they needed 12 constellations along this line. Finally, Cancer is just the Latin word for a crab. When we call this constellation Cancer the Crab, we're actually repeating ourselves by saying crab the crab. Lots of constellations are like this, including some we've already discussed and others you may have heard of, such as Scorpius the scorpion, Draco the dragon, and Cygnus the swan. Take the opportunity tonight to go outside and see if you can find Cancer the crab. Plan to be outside for a little while without looking at any bright lights like a screen on a phone street light, or headlights to make it easier on yourself. While your eyes adjust, try looking for some of the other constellations we've talked about in past episodes, which you can find on our Facebook page, Instagram, or YouTube channel. This has been another episode of My Sci on the Move. Thanks for watching.